Our journey started at Gilbert and Brown Road, where we waited 45 minutes for the bus. As soon as the ride started, we began our long journey. We got off the bus at Gilbert and Elliot after seeing a water tower. As we were exploring the area, an antique shop caught our attention, and we figured we might be able to obtain some information on the surrounding area of Gilbert. The lady inside directed us to the Commerce Building, where we thought we'd obtain more information on Gilbert. But little did we know, this building would obtain one of our interesting finds. There in the building lied an old booking and holding cell that stood active till 1970. The employees at the Chamber of Commerce told us about the first jail in Gilbert. They said it was made of adobe and was used in the 19th century. We thought this could help our investigation of an interesting find. One lady pointed us in the direction of the jail, and off we went. After wandering towards our unknown location, we finally arrived. In front of us was the water tower that we saw from the bus, but beneath it was a regular building that turned out to be the jail. The old building was made of brick and adobe and looked as if it could be kicked over. We were wondering why the building was so close to the water tower when we found out later on the building was originally used for the water pump. Hey, we need to find about, about more stuff about this jail. Should we go to back to the museum? It felt great finding something over a century old, but unfortunately we had to head on back. On the bus ride back, we were all in our thoughts. We had explored something that changed our view of Gilbert. We knew that the town had some history, but not to this extent. After our journey, when researching what was constructed around the jail, we found out that they were building a water park around the water tower and jail to bring more people to the old town of Gilbert. When we discussed about how the valley is growing, we would expect that they would tore down all unnecessary buildings, but they kept this one. It made us respect the town of Gilbert and its history, and not just see it as a fast developing town.